Let's say this right now. I don't even remember what I have on this account. Other than like these two. I'm like, I got type earth and I got Koyan of Dark, and I don't literally don't remember anything else. But anyway, this is uh randomly I was just like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for stream tonight. I'm just gonna log into my JPFGO account. I got 25 Saint Quartz. I have no idea what the heck this event is. Don't know who this servant is because I didn't look at the wiki yet, but I'm here just chilling and going, I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> um, obviously I have to do, uh, what is this? I can't read the story in Japanese. So I'm going to skip it. First of all, oh, is this um eighty sixty? This be Rome, right? Oh, yeah, it totally is Rome. Okay, this is where you meet Umu. Anyway, uh, uh, good to know. That's where I got to the story. Because doing story is boring when, like, literally you have 790. Uh, you guys might not be able to see this. Give me a second. Uh, let, me, let me move my, uh, let me move myself to this side. And I'll just do a little, um, little transform flip horizontal so that I face the right way when I look over at the screen. Uh, but, uh, I have 790 AP. I'm level 32. I've not done much. I have this outfit. I don't even know what it, this outfit does. I don't remember. Uh, I don't even remember what my team looks like. Oh, yeah, I have a kaleidoscope. Because, of course, I do. Also, I only have 60. <laughs> my, my total cost is really low because I need to level up more. Uh, I got three outfits. I got us got this summer one. I got this normal one. I got this random outfit that I got. I don't remember what the what, what this one does. Uh, let's see, Buster up eight percent. I think that's start MP forty percent. I don't know what this. Uh, Twelve is, I think, maybe getting twelve crit stars at the start of uh, at the start of the turn. I don't even know why I call that summer, but uh, I don't even know what this uh, event is. But I guess the servants on raid up. Actually, like JP has a lot of banners up. Like we have a uh, shoot in here. We have uh, this person I don't have in. I don't even know if it came out or not in NA. And this is the new um, servant. I have no idea who this is. It's a five star, apparently. Uh, that's uh, Benny Enma, who I have in NA. That's just, I think this is a New Orleans feature for some reason. I'm not sure what these, uh, these things are about. I can look it up right now. Look at it real quick. Uh, let's read through it. Let's see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I can't read Japanese, I realize. And so this is going to probably mean nothing to me. Cool. Anyway. Uh, apparently, Ilya and Mew have a raid up. I have no idea who half of the servants are on this. I know Saber. I know... Uh, oh, what's your name? Z... Something, 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 something. I don't know. Wait. Is that the CE for the guy from Fate Extra that summoned uh, Arcweed? Oh, that shit's cool. I want that. <laughs> uh, obviously, I know everybody on the standard banner. I don't even know if I should pull for any servants because I don't even know who they are. Not that I can actually like run any of them. Should get advice. 
But yeah, uh, story's pretty easy. It's just I'm lazy. There, I'll show you guys. I do a story battle, right? Uh, we'll get one of my friend supports. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter who I choose, do I? Let's get like one of their berserkers. As you can see, like I'm friends with people who have like good, or I'm following people who have good servants already. So it's like it doesn't matter what I do. Who are you? I can't read that, so I don't know who you are. <laughs> Look, I know some of these people. I guess, uh... Marie Morgan. She's easy to use. That looks fine. <laughs> Main story one. It's like weird playing like FGO in Japanese when you're playing through a story that I played through like years ago already. I could just rewatch at any point because it's like, all right, that's cool. Um, I already know all this story, and there's no challenge in battles because like I like the game literally gives you a ticket to get a servant to, from level 80 to level 90 at the very beginning. And then you throw a bunch of resources so you can, like, level 90 a second five-star servant. Hence why I have, uh... Oh, six enemies. Hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna do. Oh, well, I guess, uh, first things first. A little mouse pointer when I play. A little bit of lag. Oh! That's right. I haven't played through Lost Belt 6. I'm not gonna get the uh, same treatment of music and stuff. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is what I need. Yep. She's so cool. I'm 100% gonna pull her when she comes out in a type, uh, type earth. The shame that if, as you go in between screen transits is you lose the thing, the background, even though it's still active. So I believe if I do this, everyone's, uh... Okay. There you go. Oh yeah, spoilers I guess for stuff that's yet to come in NAFGO. Yay. As you can see, the basics are there. Emma. I have no idea what any of these uh, uh, missions. Oh no, that, I know that mission. That was like defeat twenty non-servant enemies. Plus, you got a lot of random stuff for just existing. Oh, did? Why well, do I have a second? Another ticket. Oh, are these tickets from like the doing the stuff? Wait, do you get tickets for missions now? Is that why? Oh, you do. You get tickets for missions. Okay. 
I realize that. Cool. Um, I haven't even gotten like the outfits from the shop. I don't even know what's here. Oh, we have these things. What's this? Oh, is it like you face certain enemies and you get stuff? Oh, I guess you have to reach certain thresholds and then you get stuff. I've done this first one. Okay. Oh, this really brings an AP down for a rank up quest, but like I literally can't do any of these because I don't have enough uh, servants. My JP account, I don't really play or pull. Oh, cool. We have a uh, AP down for um, oh for the uh, experience cards. Okay, that makes sense. I don't need that. Like I have twenty. Actually, do I have do I have any in my second archive? That's a real question. Second archive. I have stuff in my regular. I have regular. Oh, I have this guy. I just save a few of these. There you go. Move 20 of those over. <laughs> look at the, look at the max is 800. That's like the norm in JP right now. Oh, I guess I can I buy like. Oh wait, I gotta go to summon. I meant to go shop. Can I buy tickets? Oh, they have five star ones in here now. Not that I could buy much. I only have forty four. Unless I bought the tickets this month. This month. Uh, yes. I guess I did. I have no idea what else I bought. I guess I bought some folk stuff. Also, what does this one do? Uh, let's see. QP, e experience, and that's friend point. I think that's be plus 25 friend points to get it to uh, get all five of them for 5,000. Also, that requires me to, like, actually have friends. Like, I barely, like, like I'm surprised, like, these people have uh, kept me on their friends list. <laughs> Shouts to the five people. Like, this guy's gonna play, right? Like, look at his support. Look at their support. They clearly, they clearly are doing something, right? No, most of my, most of my things are look, like, look like this. Also, load slowly. <laughs> They're mostly level ones too, which doesn't help. Except my one level ninety and my one level nine, my two level nineties. I can't really help that though, because like, I can't really level up skills because I don't have, I don't have mats because I don't. Like, if you look. I need more Berserker bats. Like, I don't have those. And, like, like I barely have enough proof of heroes. So, I can't really do much there. Do I even have, like, do I even have, like, oh, I do have Grails. I have a few Grails. Also, I just realized, um,. I got some silvery experience cards. Let me, let me sell those off. This. We don't take kindly to these. That's fodder. Maybe I should eventually like summon out all the people. I do have like a decent amount of stuff here. Just I don't know how much of it is good or anymore. I have like 
I do have, I can literally like do stuff. You can see my locked ones down here, I guess. Wait, why are these locked and like the ones up there not? Confused. Uh, no idea. I think these are just EXP ones, right? Yeah, these are just uh, EXP fodder. I guess these are from, like, from previous events and stuff. Or like from like the few pulls I've done. I should do like a 10 pull. I already don't know what I'm doing. It'd be funny if I get another new servant. It's like which one I want to pull on. But I just pull on this one because then I can like potentially play in the event, right? I guess it's 50. Alright guys, we're doing a 10 pull for no reason. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know what I, I don't even know, uh, I don't even know the servant on the banner. I won't know until I hear them tell, introduce themselves in Japanese if I do get them. There's a little bit of lag when playing on the JP server, because we're not in JVP. Oh cool, we got the 4 star event CE for, uh, Siegfried, I guess. At least I know the servants. Oh, I got a gold saber. That's good, right? Hey! Suzuko goes in. She's good. I like her. I like her in NA. Mine's level 90 in NA. I'll take that. Do I have her already, though? I don't know. Alright, Hector. He's cool. Feels weird pulling on a banner. Oh, it's a, uh, it's the man, it's a dude, it's a dude from Fate Extra. That's like so cool that I recognize that guy. Uh, I think this is like Angel Choir chorus or something is a pretty mid C because it's like an early game three star one. Uh, this one's okay. Uh, she's a master of Assassin of Black. From Fate Apocrypha. Who we don't know is Jack the Ripper. Assassin 3 star. Who could it be? Oh, okay. Mokotoro. See, like, I know most of these servants and, like, stuff. It's also pretty mid. Oh, it's, um, it looks like Corday. Is that Marie in the background? On on top of the bus, I think it was? I think that's a Vensi, too. Caster. Oh, it's, uh, what's his face? I don't remember his name. I, I know, I know of him. He's not out yet in NA. Oh, I know her. Surely. I think this is the event one, right? Uh, yes, this is the event one. Yeah, let's do another. Let's do another one. That was fun. Got a four-star servant. That I like, you know, good times. Because in that way, like, it might like incentivize you to actually play through the event. So I'd be okay. If I get like the five star uh, craft essence. Because that may be more fun than just run, run, randomly running through the um, the story missions where I could just eat everything. Right, that's two of the four star one. Not ideal. I'd prefer the five star one. That's William Tell.
Not exactly getting good um, drops on this roll. I'll take more servants. What three star rider could it be? Hey, Zushi Wakamaru's. I go Zushi Wakamaru's. He's cool. Up oh, there's Kid Gil. Gilgamesh, except it's Kid Gil. All right, another of the three star C. No lot going on in this one. Five star? Uh, no, but it's um. Oh, is that Young Taiga? Yes, yeah, Young Taiga from Fate Say Night. That's uh, is Candor's Bulls. Oh, we just got a lag spike. Lag spikes don't mean anything. Uh, it's just connecting with. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. It's it's uh, that was an alter ego. <laughs> I forgot what it looked like because I've only seen it like once when I uh pulled for him originally. I forget his name. I like this guy. That's Tiger, right? That looks like Tiger. Looks like a sure hit, plus uh fifteen percent something. Uh, something no. Something, something. Cool. I don't know what it does. Other than, like, it does okay. Uh, I guess I could also do, like, ticket pulls. Oh, actually, yeah, with the ticket pulls, I could do another... I could get another 10, so might as well. Might as well try to get that 5-star C for the event. 5-star C? Nope. Again. And lag spikes everywhere. All right, to serve it. It's a berserker, three star. It's Lubu. We have Lubu. Five star C. Nope. Why are we keeping these unlimited blade works? The bad one. All right, we got more of this uh, this C, so probably golden if we're uh, just trying to get the uh, get that material. I don't really have a choice in like how many. All right, that's uh, that's the guy. Uh, Saber of Reds, Master Fader Hawk. I forget his name right now, but rare names is hard. Ooh, Archer, three star, who we got? Oh, Tataro Tota. Uh, Tota. Alright, then we just could do three more pulls after this. Especially just considering we didn't get the. Uh... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Not yet. Oh, you got five per. Okay, that makes sense because you get a total of 50 for every temple. That's good. Ooh, a servant. Is that good? Is it good? Three star rider. Who could it be? Bodica. Unfortunately, she's not that good. And now we got two, car two uh, for the price of one. Cool. Because on the 10th one, you get 10 and 11. Another Shirley. Okay, I don't even know what this C does, so I should probably take a look at it. 
And we got another four star one instead. No five star. What did you do? Something. No, fifteen percent. Okay. I wanted this one. Wait, are these also event ones? That makes sense because, like, if it was event ones, it would have an ability to go along and correspond with it. Huh. Alright, well, let's try out the event. To fight a foreigner. Apparently, we're going to, um,. Uh, what's called but form our uh, form our team like right before the battle starts there you go I remember out the English so I'm playing the game in Japanese so I'll be able to read Japanese I was gonna play like the sun through the summer event because I really wanted um summer um what's it called summer Summer X. But unfortunately, I didn't have time to. Also, it's taking a long time to load. For a scene, I'm going to have to skip. Oh. Budui, budui. Oh, I can't read that fast. And cutscene. I can read, like, some of this. Like, obviously, the words I learned, like, I know it's there. Ooh, they do something, something, something. Arui ga suto soari no desu ga. I, I, I can't skip this. It's just a cutscene. So let me skip anything. Listening to like, it's like listening to like the lo fi hip hop. Totemo, Totemo, Itsujiyo, Ken something, me? Oh, look, it's Mash, and it's me. Oh, something, something. Soda. Oh. So, something, something. Eat. I don't know. I'm assuming that's a sonda. <laughs> wow. I have to be able to read fast. I have to remember this in two years when I go through this. Oh, something on Nano this. I have no idea what's it. <laughs> One Gina World Tour. Okay, yes, that's what it's about. Hello. I don't I shouldn't know who you are <laughs> yet. Cuz story-wise I'm like I'm like singular barely past singular f. Um Jeez, I don't even know who some of these servants. Are. What the heck is all these guest servants here for? I don't even know who this is. This art looks cool. Um, I guess we'll use you. And I guess, uh, just use the event one, the event C. There you go. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, it's... Okay. MP stuff. Okay. Let's do this first. Maybe. Okay, we got the boost from the uh, Brave Chain. Oh, that's all we did do. Did it. We did it. Yay. I love the music change. Hey, we beat up MHXX because she's also a foreigner. Yay! So this art card plus three percent, seventeen three percent, and P plus three percent. So this is plus whatever this is. This is plus boomerang. So wait, is that like a, a platypus, a boomerang, and a koala? And you can get stuff for it. Such as outfits and seas and a ton of crystallized lores, which I have none of. However, these things are, I have a thousand of. Got more tickets. Okay, so it's like one of these types of ones where you just, uh, It's one of these where you just like. Also, what do you use these uh things for? Are these that uh, do they do they replace like her prisms? I don't think so. I think we also. I think we still have pure prisms, right? Yeah, do do so. Oh. Oh, that's right. These are to get the uh, servants from old missions that you can't get anymore. Like, they're, like, uh, like for events, they're probably not going to rerun. So, Grizzly, I want to get, like, a bunch of Kuros. Uh, to max her out, I would need, like, a minimum... To get her, like, like uh, MP5. Require one, one thousand plus four of these, so it'll be like twelve hundred. And then, like to get extra like coins, you can trade for them here. 
Don't be like, oh yeah, you just trade for it. Okay, that's that's cool. Let's see who we have. We have Iris Feel, who's only useful in some challenge missions. We have uh Crow who's actually pretty good. We have Sieg, who's apparently very useful. Uh we have Scotty Summer. John Berserker, who no one's gonna trade for. Saber, Hokusai, which is okay. Caster, Elizabeth, who's just a fan favorite, and that's it. No one's gonna get her. Uh Saber Elizabeth would be even worse, unless you know unless you have a limit broken kaleidoscope to actually take advantage of that. Uh, Oda Archer is all right. I think Foreigner, MHX Alter is okay. A uh, Rare is OP. Shooten Caster is pretty decent. I'm not sure if uh, Quetz Ruler is any good. What are these for? Oh, did you just get 40 AP? So there's 40 AP apples. Okay. This for the rare prisons? I, I highly doubt I have any rare prisons. I have two actually. Okay, so you can get like some of the old CEs this way. Wait, they have all the old CEs. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, and, and they have like uh, some of the old outfits too and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. And this is for like the events you miss. It's just a lot. There's no lot of events. See, I was trying to do the summer one. Don't know if it's up here. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Like I like, like I had issues, so I couldn't really play. So I think I level up from that. Hmm. I really should just go through the story. I should get my free. I should get my free Saint Courts first before I do this. My easy to get Saint Courts. You know? Oh, that's right. I don't have a separate thing. I need to get my level up. And I also need to get, like... SQs and pure prisms and doing story missions gets you pure prisms which is good for trading for mats later which I might be able to utilize for my type earth I want to get their skills up Kusoku Attention, please. 
Well, it's like these guys can drop like proof of heroes and stuff, right? That like. Koya needs. Or, or skills. I mean, plus, like, story mission would be easier because, like, they're all, like, level, uh, like, 20, 12. <laughs> It just stinks that, like, I have to, like, press the buttons for this, because I'm lazy. Look at all these archers. I'll be honest, the first- also the first time I ever played through, um... What's it called? When I originally played through this, like, I was literally carried by I'm own cat. He's a berserker. Like, I wasn't really, like, much higher in level compared to, like, where I should have been. Which is fine for Rome, but, like, the next area makes it, makes it so much harder. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Alright, I'm doing pretty de I'm doing pretty decent. Yeah, I'm randomly playing Fate Grand Order in JP for no reason other than uh, I have a JP account that's completely neglected, and I don't, I can't read Japanese, so it's fun. <laughs> okay, I've killed twenty enemies that are not uh, servants. <laughs> You know, I'm doing this because I need the proof of heroes. I was like, I think, like, for my Koyan, uh, uh, Koyan Sky of Darkness. And plus, like, I need these Berserker gems. And other things. You learning? I would like to lie and tell you I'm learning, but uh, it has been a little bit since I've learned more. I'm still stuck on like the 25 to 30 hiragana I can read from when I first like was like learning. This 200 friend points looks really nice. Especially like, oh yeah, no, now she has the 50% bonus. But I'd still rather just three turn it with... Uh, a, a friend's uh, Morgan as a support. Yeah, so I can read a little bit, but that does not help when, like, for example, like, I can't read any of the katakana. I can't read any of the kanji. I know that says Nero because I know who Nero is. I mean, I could, like, Ga, I think that's a Gayoi, Rugayoi. Shikashite, something, something. I don't remember what. N sound that is. I think that's an N sound, but like I haven't learned that one. Uh, that looks like a five, so I believe that's the Chi. I think I'm pretty sure this is Ru. So it's like Ru Runo. That's something. So like I can read a little bit, but I have to like go back to actually learning Hiragana.
like actually going back and learning hiragana and then go and learn like katakana and then and then like from there like pick up like a kanji dictionary actually just start studying for that so it doesn't stop me from like just playing the game as you can see because like knowing the skills oh thank you thank you thank you i use a vtuber thing because uh one lazy two uh i was using it when i when i was like i was use i was like using it on and off but then like um I think when I got COVID after I came back from vacation, um, it just it just felt more comfortable to just use a VTuber on full time. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to see my like be like coughing and stuff. And so like tried a while back. Yay. Camera was trash. Yeah, I think like most people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I caught COVID again. It sucked. It's just as bad as I remember it being. I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, you know, I want to do more pulls on the current event banner so I can get like the five star craft essence. So for four days straight, I unfortunately did not. Ooh, look, we get we get a three turn. Oh, I have three hours. Yeah, I had to like work because I didn't know I had COVID. So I was working and I literally like half our office had COVID and that's where I caught it. It wasn't even from vacation, which was, which was like the big like, oh wow, that sucks. Yeah, obviously I'm better. It's just... I don't know, I got, I got used to using the VTuber model more, so it's like, I just use it now. It's kind of funny because I did get a better camera. And now it's just for, uh, it's just because I, it's just for my VTuber model. Which makes it pretty hilarious. It's amazing I'm supposed to have all these, like, leveled up. It's like, no. Just you, just just you servants that like pump each other's MP cages. Uh, you know, it doesn't even matter. Like, you know. Uh, it is up to you. Like, if you feel like uh, you're up to it, you do it. You know. That's what. That's what. That's what always comes down to for streaming. Is if you feel like streaming, do it. If you don't feel like streaming, don't do it. it doesn't matter if your account's like trash on fake Instagram or like. To an extent, all of our accounts are trash. The only reason my NA account looks any good is because, uh, the only reason my, my account looks good is because I have a kaleidoscope on, on my type earth. <laughs> like, if it wasn't for fact I'm just stupid lucky at this game, I always get kaleidoscope. Like, like that 80% starting gauge, it looks really nice. That's all I'm going to say. That's not... That that's just that's just luck, you know. And my NA account has like four limit broken kaleidoscopes, which pisses off all my IRL friends who play the game because they're like, "I'm lucky I have like one." And I'm like, "Yeah, I've like burned them in the past," <laughs> and they get so angry at me. I'm like, "Understandable. Have a nice day." 
I stopped burning them, and that's why I, that's why I have four limit broken ones, and they don't like that. <laughs> so it's like, it's like yeah, I have nothing to say to them other than like be luckier, I guess, or whale. Which I would not recommend. Like, um, I'll be honest. I've spent money on some of the guaranteed banners. I do not feel like I've won anything of, of worth in, uh... It looks insane. Is meh. Yeah. Like, I had- I got, like... What did I get on my guarantee banners? Actually, I don't remember. Alright, there we go. We killed 40 non-servant enemies. Cool. Uh, let me see. Show my spirit origins. I got. Ooh. I already have a Suzuka goes in. Wait, I mean I get Suzuka MP2. Woo, MP2, let's go. I have a Tomo goes in too. Nice. What do I get? Uh, I got. Semi Ramis. Oh, I have this girl. Oh, and I got the uh, Berserker Musashi. I guess they're okay. Look at all these things. But it's like, it's like they don't help me because I can't really level up servants. Like here, let's go to let's go to hands. First of all, where's the... a second? Let me just do this real quick. Thank you. Yeah, MP2, let's go. Um... Like, like, look at my resources. They're so. I don't have much. <laughs> I don't have much. I literally spent all my resources getting Type Earth to level 90. And then for Clan of Dark, it's a, uh, uh, you have like the free ticket that you can take a server from level 1 to level 80 to, to max ascension at like whatever the level is. So like, for example, it took Clan to like level 80 out of 90. If you choose a four star, I'll take them to 70 out of 80. And then like, because they throw a bunch of these things at you, the, uh, the EXP cards, like it was easy to get. But as you can see, like, like I originally was playing with like you know Ibaraki Doji, and you know I got my free Jinako. So it's play to win and pay to win. Yeah, I mean I always say like luck is a luck is a inherent factor in, in like games. Like this one. Actually, I guess I should. Uh, Mac should like do these. Get him out of the way. There you go. Um, make it kind of look like I'm trying. <laughs> and like eventually, like eventually, I'll get to the point where. It, you know, obviously, like I will get to the point where, if you, and the thing that that comes with playing enough, like eventually, like if you play the game long enough, you'll eventually have an account that has a bunch of useful and decent servants, even if they're only three and four star servants, because like there's a lot of servants to game. You do not need not need five stars to do everything in this game, and that's just a fact. Luckily. There's some five stars that help tremendously. Like, for example, like people use their free ticket to not get a Jinako. For example, they get like, I don't know, like a caster, like a Sugi Liang. It was very useful. But no, I got, I got, I got a uh, Ganesha. Cause I was like, I don't have Ganesha in NA and I have Ganesha in NA now. 
So I was like, oh, well, that seems silly. Uh, let's see. Wait, is my Ushimakamaru already MP5? I just realized only the, uh... Let me see. Oh, she is. Okay. So it's my William Tell. Okay. And my Lu Bu. All right, well, that's sad. I was like, oh, look, I got these guys. They're cool. I don't need, didn't even need them. I don't even know what this guy's name is. Dude, I remember Medea carrying me through London. Uh, let's see. My friend level 120 is Chengong. I thought that was impressive. He's like, Chengong's really good. And then he put his money with his mouth, so he just level 120 him. It's like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, for the longest time, I didn't even like, like, I didn't like level any certain spells level like 90. But then like, uh, I think like starting with, uh, Castoria last year, um, I got so many super effective like level ups that like I had extra resources. I was like, I might as well just take her to a hundred because I didn't use grails for any servants other than to get to like level 80 or 90 or something like that. So they're essentially strictly reserved for, ooh, MP5, uh, Fumo Kotaro, let's go. Highest level on survival is 24, let's go, 24. I have proof. Now, if you want to get that number up, because like some people do, um, I just recommend that you find a support friend who has a Jean and Joan of Arc on their support list and let that Joan of Arc literally carry you through like uh, one of the AP 40 nodes for experience cards. And it's like one of the easiest ways. Ooh, my Corday is MP5 too. Nice. It's one of the easiest ways to gain quick levels and get the experience cards so you can start leveling servants. That's what my friends did. Um, we, which, you know, I didn't do personally, but, well, I did, but not like in the same way. We're a solo player for leveling, that is. That's fair. Yeah, so like what I did was like, I think during the first Narrow Fest event, uh, though, like in like the middle rounds, there was a Lancer node. And like my narrow, because like I really want Nero Claudius, and I got her. Of course, I did. Um, I got my my Nero Claudius like level forty. So like with a kaleidoscope, uh, she was able to like clear the like like a Lancer wave by herself. So essentially, I just used her. Why are there fireworks going off? I have no idea. <laughs> Neighbor's weird. So I was able to like clear like this lancer node and then get get and like because it was like a 40 ap node i would level up every time i cleared it so essentially i cleared it 30 times in a row went to like level like 50 or 60 like in one day from like level like 20 something so that's like that's essentially how i leveled up in na but then the problem was like i got like materials and stuff but then I was still grossly under leveled for like content because I didn't level up any other servants at the time. Oh, he's finally MP5. Nice. Let's go. So like, like that was fine at the very beginning of the game. But then like, I think in the uh, singularity, in the third singularity, like everything's archers. And so I'm bringing a berserker and a saber to archer only fights that are the same level as I am. And they keep killing my teams. I was like, wow, this is so hard for me. It's just not, they, it's not that they were hard. It's just I was bad and I had bad teams. 
So, like, I think after that, before London came out, which was Singularity 4, I leveled up, like, a Uriel, which is right there. I leveled up my... I leveled up, like, a Medu my Media, which is a caster. And I leveled up, um... I think I leveled my Kukulin, which is Lancer. And then I walked into London, had a great time. Was well, not as bad. All right, let's let's sell the uh, sell the extra servants that are already MP5 apparently, and the one silver experience card I have. There you are. Yay! I have 199. Oh wait. But yeah, essentially that's how I got like I went from level like twenty something to like level like fifty something. Which was good. But like now there's like a ton of good servants. So like if you're friends with anyway that's like that's like like you know level 80 plus or like they most likely will have a 310 dot servant yep and in my case right now i have like you know they, they weren't in the game originally but i have like a i have a moon cancer and a foreigner leveled up got no friends hey if you ever hey if you play na and you want you want a friend just hit me up okay like, i'm always willing to help out I always tell my friends too, it's like if you <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I always tell my friends too, like if they ever need a servant with like a specific uh you play an A, yeah. I always tell I always tell my friends, if they like if you need a servant with like a specific like craft that's on them, like let me know. I have like I'm a whale in NA. I have a ton of stuff. It's generally not an issue. <laughs> Yeah, I can get my phone right now if you want to add me. <laughs> I love type earths. I love this. The castle brunes are getting summoned. Hey. Hey. Oh, Summoner of War? Yeah, wasn't that that's a that's a that's a game. I've heard of it. It was a whale on it. Dude, I chose the wrong game to be a whale on because I'm a whale in this game. I'm a and just just you know. Wait, do I keep getting this? Huh. Cool. Just so you know, Fate Grand Order. And we got it two years early. Big Red Order did have a pity system until last year. And the pity system is for whales only anyway. I guess I could just bring like... Yeah. Oh, they have the coin. Also, they're in the same sea. It's just they have a limit broken because they're better. I was lost. Oh, that hurts. Actually, fun, very unfun story is when I first upgraded my phone. Um, I forgot my account transfer. Um, like I guess I uh, copied it down wrong. Um, so like. I actually didn't have access to my NA Fate account for like a week and a half. Uh, and this is like three years ago now, but that was stressful because it's like, that's my whale account. That's like my that baby. I was like, oh no. Because to this day, Fate Forever doesn't use like account, lo like, like, oh, link your account to like, I don't know, your Google Play account or something. You still have these transfer codes and stuff. It's like, come on, guys. So, 
I have my account transfer stuff very well documented for both this account and my uh, NA Fade account. It does prevent theft. I know, I know that's the reason why. It's just still very frustrating. If you like copy it down wrong and then you have to like email them and then you have to go through the account recovery process, it's just, it's just work. That is very frustrating to go through. But like I said, I didn't have my account for like a week and a half. Even though I had the receipts every day showing this is clear in my account, I have bought. Also, like. Also, it does help that if you're doing an account recovery, to one, have screenshots of your account, which luckily I streamed every once in a while. So I had, like, and I share stuff in, like, my Facebook group. So I actually did have, like, screenshots from my actual account, like, pre from pretty recently in general. And also, I had my, you know, Google Play receipts, because that's a whale. I've made in-app in real money purchases, which is another thing that does help for account recovery because they can link your purchase history to the account. So yeah, no, I know it's I know it prevents theft, and it's actually a pretty good way to preventing theft. It's just it's still very frustrating. <laughs> It's a combination of like one, if you copy the transfer code wrong, and two, if you use like the wrong, uh, Dragonlands. I'm not sure what that game is. It was stolen. What? It always sucks when th things like that happen. It's like frustrating. Also, I had false proof. Oh, I mean, that reminds me when I used to play uh, the old story, but Albatross 18, someone stole my account. Because the account, the account like transfer process, that entry, entry soft, like. Uh, at the time, like, input was really, really garbage. So, like, um... So, how their, um, account transfer worked was literally, like, go to this website, put in the, uh, the player code of the, of, of the, of the account. And literally, like, you could put in whatever player code you wanted. So someone put in my player code before I even knew the website existed. And that was very frustrating because uh, their one account that I spent real money on once again because I spent money on gacha games because I still do to this day. Yeah, it was annoying. So, uh, like, I had to go through their process where it's like, well, well one, I had a secondary account that I transferred over, luckily. So for my secondary account, I, w I had to message, like, the 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 GMs of the game like hey you know I didn't get my account blah 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 here's like proof and I had to go through an, an entire like account recovery process which is not fun but luckily once again it was a game where because I was like relatively social in it I had like a ton of screenshots and stuff of my account and the and like the stuff that I owned on it and my activities in it. So once again, it was one of those where it was like, all right, here's I literally have a photo bucket and this is how old it is. Like I had a photo, I had a photo bucket albums worth of screenshots from the game because one of my favorite things to do in the game was, uh, I would take random pictures, like with me and my friends like and buddies hanging out together in the game. Just because, because like, because like you know, like it's a it's an online golf game, Albatross eighteen slash Pongya. So like, I just had tons of screenshots with all my other like former nicknames and stuff that I use. And the funnier part was like once I went through this process, 
essentially all they do is they just copy the account over onto like my main account and they give me access to my main account They're like reset your password reset the password for a essentially a copy of the account that got stolen so they're like literally I had friends of mine who after I started after I got my original account back I was playing yeah uh there was reports where there was a scammer who was using my account still because all they, they didn't take away the account from the person who stole it. They just copied my account onto a brand new account and just gave me the, the, the copied account from like the old, like from like the old transfer. So there was someone else who was a scammer who's still using my account, the one that they stole originally. And literally, uh, Thanks to the help of like friends who kept spotting this uh, account and the fact that they were still being a, sca a scammer, uh, the GMs just banned the guy outright eventually. So it worked out in the end, but it was just very funny that they didn't like take away the account from the person who stole it. They just copied my account from the old database, went, oh, there it is. Here's your account. <laughs> so I thought that was interesting. Ooh, I was talking about the Hershey of Origin. I feel honored by that one. We should have done that in the first place, yes. Hello, Hershey of Origin. I agree, they should have banned the person who stole the account in the first place. I agree with that. But they didn't for some reason. They they literally just went back to like the old database where this was transferring from I think GG server not GG servers, um OG Planet to Entrysoft. So they just took the data from OG Planet servers and just gave me my account back that way. Which I appreciate because I did get my account back. It's just funny that the scammer was still running around with it. Well, the GMs weren't in charge of the account transfers. They helped with banning the scammer eventually. It's the... It's Entry Soft's whoever their their tech guys were, they handled the account transfers and for some reason I guess they didn't care to ban someone who stole an account. But they were okay with with proof recovering an account that was not recovered or properly aka not recovered by the person who owned it, for example. Yeah, it's a very strange thing, but like I said, I eventually got my account back. I did play it until the day the uh, server closed. Not like all every day, but like I logged in for like the last month. It was actually very heartwarming because like a bunch of us stopped playing because we didn't like the direction that EntrySoft took uh, the server, which was which really sucked at the time. But like when the servers were finally closing for Pangya, I think a but like all like I think like. 80% of my friends who retired from the game came back out, came out of retirement. We just, we literally just like sat around in rooms and hung out in the game, talked about like what we liked about it in the good old days kind of thing. It was a lot of fun. I had like a nostalgia trip for like the last 30 days uh, before they shut the servers down. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Like, under EntrySoft's leadership. Thank you. Thank you, Hersher Origin. You know, I agree. Um, a lot of game companies made terrible decisions. Entry, so EntrySoft's big one was there were people who kept track of gotcha rates because they didn't publicly announce gotcha rates for all of the different gotcha mechanics in the game so there are people who kept track of that you know uh, hobbyists essentially and i don't know if uh these people still play games with with the usernames that they use so i won't name names but you know Thank you to those people who kept track because they literally were able to track correctly, almost scarily accurately track 
the um, how bad the gotcha rates have gotten for like the gotcha mechanics, both the in-game currency one and the real money currency, real money gotcha mechanics of Angya when it transferred hands from OG Planet to Entry Soft. Yeah, it seemed the company... It's not that the company got greedy either, because the gotcha rates actually reflected more of what it was in the original Korean server. The, with that said, those rates are were bad. And, um... It, like, showed. It was like um, it was like one of those things where it was a gotcha game that went from like a third party who ran and was able to set their own gotcha raids for a North American audience, for a North American audience to enjoy, have fun, and spend money in profitably, and then entries off sees, oh, you guys are making money, we want our game back because we want to run it our way, and literally the. First, one of the first things that are documented is gotcha rates become absolutely terrible. Um, so there's a very famous story for people who played Pangya at the time, where they had these, they had a sale, a one day sale, of like, of these almost decorative like wing accessories. I say almost decorative. So there's like a little like white bar as your shot bar, like in the game. And these wings increased that shot bar by one pixel. It was a one pixel increase on a millimeter and a half big shot bar. Which was a big deal to min maxers and no one else cares. They were selling it on Cyber Monday for one day for $69. People were livid. They were memeing it. They're like, "You have to spend six. You have to six nine the company. <laughs> Do you have to sixty nine six nine the company if you want sixty nine dollar wings? What the heck?" In the original Korean server, these are like the black fairy wings, as well as called. Uh, they had fairy wings and the black fairy wings. The black fairy wings were a cosmetic. Item you can buy with in-game currency to change the fairy wings into the black fairy wings or vice versa. In the North American server, they sold the black fairy wings separately once for $69. And everyone was super angry. And I, in my infinite wisdom, bought a pair for my favorite character I liked using at the time in the game. I was like, 69 and like, because at the time I had a lot of disposable income. Well, no, it's, it, it is a pay to win item because that one pixel is an extra pixel of leniency for your shots, for perfect shots. So technically it's still a pay to win item. And they released this ahead of when they released the fairy wings. And before we knew that they messed with the, uh, the gotcha rates, because this was like just, this was like very soon after the transfer of hands from from like the third party who ran in NA back to Entry Soft. So yes, it was a pay to win wing, and the worst part was that uh, when the fairy wings eventually came out for Gacha, um, the friends of mine who did the gotcha rate calculations found that one um to get a pair of wings on average costs the equivalent of a hundred dollars in gotcha pulls on average there are at the time there's nine characters in the game so the fairy wings were random you didn't get it for you got one at about a on average every hundred dollars for not a character of your choice. Excuse your language, what the hell? Uh, yeah. So, I, a few months earlier than that, I think like a month, like two months earlier than that, paid $69 for 
to get the wings for the character I wanted. We know how the actual gacha itself, you now had a 1 in 9 chance on every $100 about. About around every $100, a 1 in 9 chance to get it for a character. So, to get it for the character you wanted, you rolled a 9-sided dice every $100. Yes, it was absolutely hard. Now, the good part was you can't get repeats. You could not get repeats because those, those gotcha irons are one-time items. So, that's the only saving grace. So, if you pulled it, like, like let's say you got it for character 1. That means characters 1, fairy wings are out. So, the next time you got a fairy wings, there was a 1 in 8 chance. I was very lucky. I got seven wings in five hundred dollars. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got seven wings in five hundred dollars. So my rates were double the rate of you know the average player. With that said, I got them for every character but the two my two favorite characters. I felt very cheated. I was very happy I bought it for $69 for the character I wanted to have those fairy wings for when they were selling them. But that's just, that's carpet for the horse. The fact that they charge $69 for a, essentially, they basically paid to win an item. If you wanted to have it two months in advance for $69 is absolute bullshit. Oh no, I just have bad luck when, like, I really want items for the characters I want it for sometimes. I feel like. I think it's just... It's just very bad luck. With that said, though, I do feel like... No, no, I'm kidding. Like, like, literally, like... And, mind you... The $69 wings on Cyber Monday came after the fact that on Thanksgiving, for the Thanksgiving sale in North America, they sold pajamas, pajama outfits for the for like for the characters that were free on the Korean server. They sold them. So they sold them for $20, a pajama outfit pair, which was also highway robbery. Because it was the most expensive item on any of the entry soft run uh, Ponga servers at the time. Only to be followed by a $69 pair of wings. That was the most expensive item ever. Yeah. It was not a pretty server at the time. And like, I feel so bad for the GMs who got blasted by the player base but nothing to do with these decisions because they're literally just na people who are hired to just moderate the game against you know cheaters and spammers and stuff being forced to now go wait what the hell's happening <laughs> So it was like, uh, did I get any, uh, more silver? I don't think I did, okay. It was not a pretty, t a pretty sight at the time. Uh, how many can I get? I get seven more. Yeah, so, it's one of many reasons they eventually killed the community. Another one was that, uh, for some reason, under the name of Albatross H18 with OG Planet, we had guilds that had unlimited guild membership. At the time, I ran the largest guild on the server. With like 500 plus members. Um, because like I ran a I ran a for fun guild where it's just like, you know, we participate in guild events for fun. And um, we just had a good time. Like our if our our stance is very simple. It's we're players. We like the game. We're here to have fun, and we're here to make it fun for other players. Um, I've literally, I've literally kicked two people from my guild because they're toxic to other players, and that's it. It's only ever time I have to like do anything as a guild leader, really. Other than to like, other than to like set up events and stuff. Yeah, 50 people at your peak? Hell yeah. 
it was really funny because like I think up to like until we got to around like 300 350 play, uh, uh, people in our guild like I would literally one on one play with the member before I I, I before they joined the guild just to get a feel for the uh, person and see if they'd be a good fit for us it was fun and they're like oh wow because like even like like by the time you get to, like a hundred plus members people think you're famous I guess so like it's so like 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 you know like like I have people who like you join our guild they're like rookie rookie like B rookie a when you could first join guilds and they're like, oh, I didn't think you would allow like a rookie to join. I'm like, why not? I'm like, that's where we all started. Like, I don't care. And then they become like some of the most professional like players in the game, like by choice. I had a, I had, I had someone left who are left our guild because they're like, hey, I want to like be a part of a more competitive guild. I'm like, yeah, go for it, man. And they they didn't know like if they're allowed to like leave it. I'm like, no, you're, you're like like feel free to like have fun, play the game the way you want. And, uh, you know, like, he, the funny part was, he, the, he found that the toxicity, toxicity of that other guild, like, he didn't like it. So him and a few of his friends in that guild actually joined ours back anyway in the end. He came back, he's like, yo, can we join your guild? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I didn't ask what happened. He told me, but, like, I, like, I didn't ask what happened. He explained, like, yeah, we didn't like the, like, atmosphere. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, and it happens. The funny part is, like, our guild was competitive because we just had a lot of good players who just enjoyed, like, our atmosphere. <laughs> so it's like, so, like, it's like, uh, because you could do, like, up to 30v30, like, uh, not 30v30, it's like up to 15v15, guild versus guild. And it was, and, uh, oh man, we had such great times in those, like, matches and stuff. Win or lose, we just had we just had so much fun. That's a lot. Yeah, well, so like um essentially you get paired against another person on the opposite team. So it's like uh, and like essentially the good part was you only saw like the gameplay of like you and like your opponent. So like you didn't have to worry about like seeing the gameplay of like twenty other people, which is why the servers ran just fine, even with like a thirty person lobby. Because it's just, you see the one-on-ones, essentially. Only. And then you guys can see, like, your matches together. And then otherwise, like... And then once you finish, like, your rounds with your opponent, then you just go back to the waiting room where then you can see, like, the scores on, like, as they update. So, like, the server, like, the, like it made sense the way they did it. I, mi I miss Pong, yeah. Slash Albatross18. But I more miss it as Albatross 18 when it was like, we could, you know, we'd have a limit to the guild member size, which is a big thing because they never, EntrySoft never fixed that. We always had like a guild limit member size once it uh, was a switch over to EntrySoft to 50, to 50 members, which for a 500 person guild is very hard to like negotiate because it's like, I can't choose 50 people only. So like, I felt really bad because it was like... Like, I had an idea. A server owner asked you not to? Okay. Yeah, and like, this was like, you know, this is run by a company. So like, we were at the mercy of the company and them not increasing the limit of the uh guild of the guilds they limit to 50 i'm like i'm like and like it affected a ton of guilds like one of our like like because like like our guild had like 500 plus people at the closing of albatross 18. um i think the brazilian guild had like 300 plus members italian guild had like 250 members um I'm pretty sure like the British uh British guild had like 70 to 100 members. So like it really like screwed with people. Yeah, private servers I can understand because it does up with the bandwidth and stuff. But this was like this was a server where 
You pay twenty dollars or six twenty dollars for like cosmetic outfits and sixty nine dollars for like pay to win items. Like, come on, they could afford it. They just didn't want to. Cheapskates. That's why I didn't like. I don't like EntrySoft as a company. Very hesitant to play their games. I mean, I I'm playing Tower of God, but I'm not gonna spend a dime in that game ever. I'm just playing. It be, I just play it because one, uh, a friend of mine wanted me to play it. Every Gary's bot server. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's three tower god. Yeah. The story is like, like I don't know anything about tower god, so like, I apologize. I haven't read it. I haven't watched it. Um, so I apologize in advance if anyone thinks, oh, you like tower god? Like, I, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry. Uh, literally just played a game because my friend said it's a fun idol game, and it's like it's fun. It's fine. But like, you play as like a. I guess a person, uh, like, a person that's treated infinitely better than, like, the main character is by, uh, uh, whoever the, the guy is at the start that, like, sends him into the tower. This is where Ad Reader is bad. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Take your word for it. I don't know anything about Tower God. I know some of the characters are like cool. Oh no, he has 60,000 HP. What are we gonna do with a Berserker that could do more damage than 60,000? No idea. It's too hyped now. Absolutely no reason. I think it's just animated well, right? But yeah, like, um, hey. like, I played, um, you know, I, I, so I played Tarot God, but because of company behind it, I'm like, I'm not spending a dime in this game. Dude, I love I love old anime series too. Although I like new anime series as well. It comes to mangas, like I read some strange manga right now. Like one, uh, one of my favorite manga right now is um, so I'm big into like. In regards to idol games, like I think they're okay. Is what I'll say. They're not the best, but like. They're fun, uh, but like one of the ones, so one of the manga I'm reading recently, and let me preface this by saying one, uh, because I'm like a New York City kid, or I was, when, you know, obviously because that's where I was born in New York. I was born and raised in New York City. Um, um, I lived right, I lived near the uh, the, the Belmont racetracks, um, and stuff. So like I actually have studied and I know a lot about horse racing. Um like just because like it's just something that was accessible to me. Uh like when I was younger my school took field trips over to the to the Belmont racetrack so I got to learn about like, you know kinda like the sad existence that is like a racing horse because their lives are so short usually. So like I'm interested in horse racing and so as a person who also likes idol culture, I D O L, from like Japan, both, and I I know of both the positive, cool stuff about it and the negative, bad stuff about it, which is also a reason why I like some anime series that delve into like the more negative stuff because, or the more real stuff about the idol industry because it's just like a very interesting viewpoint that doesn't get talked about enough. Which is obviously now more in the limelight than it ever has been. But uh, anyway, uh, I come to really like the Uma Musume series. I've watched both seasons on Crunchyroll. 
I've watched the OVA series on YouTube, which is there actually for free, by um, uh, Sai Games. And I really like, I think you guess, the manga series, Umamusume Cinderella Grey, which is about uh, uh, Ogre Decap. The mangaka is so good at drawing, like, action and faces. Like, it's so intense. It looks super cool. And, you know what? As a per- and like... The reason why I fell in love with this series is because, one, I'm actually not familiar with Japanese, uh, horse racing. I know it's a big pastime. But I never like I know a little bit about it, but I didn't know I didn't know how little I knew about it until I watched the second season of Uma Musume. And this is like not a sponsorship or anything. It's just it's just the story of Tokai Teo was super fascinating to me. I was like, this is unbelievable. How like the manga went? I thought it was unbelievable. It was so unbelievable. I actually looked up the story of Tokai Teo. The Anime series does not exaggerate the events of Tokai Tales actual racing career. And that is fucking cool. Like, to the point where after I finished season two of Uma Musume, I think that's the only thing I talked about for like two months to my friends and to my parents. Like, my parents literally learned, like, a hundred plus different things about horse racing and the life of a racing horse because I'm like, yeah, I learned to the Belmont racetracks and I'm like, you know, obviously like I study up on it because I kind of interested like since elementary school and they're like, what the heck? This is very funny to see their reaction for it. But, um, but they thought it was super fascinating too. But I explained like when they had all the information and they explained the story of like Tokai Teo, like, Wow, that's actually very interesting. I was like, isn't it? <laughs> well, like, I think like for two months, I did. I only talked about Uma Musume, and I, and like, I have friends who are like, you're a little strange. Like, oh wow, that's actually very fascinating. Like, I convinced all of them. I would recommend. I'm not a horse girl. I'm like, because I'm not a girl either, but I'm not a horse girl. But uh, if it comes to racing horses, I have a fascination and an intrigue and a willingness to like want to learn about it and stuff because I have in the past. So uh, it's just really, for me, it is just really cool. Like, and then so, like, of course, like, I'm reading the Cinderella Grey manga. Oh my gosh, the mangaka. It's like kind of newer to the manga scene. <coughs> and they're just the way they draw action and faces, it's like super intense. I love their art style. And also I was reading Cinderella Gary alongside uh uh I think it's called My Dress Up Darling, right? The My Dress Up Darling manga. The My Dress of Darling Mount is so slow right now. It's like super like, oh, we've reached that point where it's like, well, ba -ba, we're going to track our feet. I'm like, I'm like, manga, I love you. Please just give me more of you. And it's kind of, like, I feel like the manga is like telling me, like, we'll think about it, <laughs> you know? But like Cinderella Grey is not like is not that it is like it's like we're telling the events of the life of the Ogre Cat racing horse from the perspective of Ogre Cat the character horse girl character from Musume, obviously. It's just like boom, 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 good action into like fun like uh slice of life like training and stuff into more action. It's just a lot of fun. So good. The manga is so good. But I like the Omo franchise. Like, I played the, the, the JP game too. 
because it's not there's there's no NA counterpart. So like I can't really play the NA counterpart. But yeah, like I've been I'm enjoying it. Remastering quickly where the face for the devil. I know the first one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the second one. Quickly where the face of the devil. I'll check it out. Well, most likely. I can always add more manga to my list. The only hard part is for me for manga is like. Um, the only reason I'm reading Cinderella Gray is because I can't legally read it right now, like, in English. So, like, I'm kind of, like, you know, struggling through it, so to speak. Because, uh, like, no my, normal, my normal habits for manga reading are just buying volumes of manga in NA. But I can't buy volumes of Cinderella Gray easily because it's JP only. You right now, sadly? Yeah. So on the flip side, I I've been bu I bought a ton of visual no uh, not visual light novels instead. Because like I actually don't mind reading light novels on like my iPad. Like one series I've really I bet I I like I'm like almost fully caught up with Konosuba, I think. Up to like volume fifteen of the light novel right now, if I'm not mistaken. And like I'm up to date with what's out in English for uh I've been killing slimes for three hundred years and max at my level. Which I feel like the anime does not do the light novel justice. But that's because the light novel has a ton of like, you know, stuff that gets cut out from an anime series, which makes sense. Because you can't help that. That's just just a part of the. Uh... Jeez, those fireworks are going loudly. It's just like a part of like uh, you know the uh, adaptation process. <laughs> Ooh, uh, over two thousand chapters. Yeah, I know. I know of Infinite Mana, uh, Mana and the Apocalypse. Yeah, I'm also a, like a sucker for series like Homes of Kyoto. Like I read only the first volume and I own like the first I own like the first six volumes of it. Homes of Kyoto? Yes! I just love it. It's just like It's kind of stories, I don't know. It's just it just Although I, I like I love like shoujo manga and stuff too, so it's like it's probably not a surprise. Yes, I know. I know of Infinite Mana and Apocalypse. Like, I don't follow the Korean manga light novel scene as much, but like, I know, I know, I know my, I know of, uh, quite a few series. Because I used to read uh, quite a few of uh, Korean manga and uh, light novels. Because I could read them in Korean. Yeah, it's just I'm very slow in reading Korean, which is why I don't uh, do it often. I can speak Korean. I can understand it okay, all things considered. But like, my reading comprehension is a little slow in Korean. I want to get better at it. It's just hard. Because it just takes time. But my, but the, the difference is like for Korean my, like mana or like light novels, it's like I can read the Korean. It's just, it's just like I said, my reading comprehension is a little slow.
よくざの支度はできていませんいい判断さ By the way, I like how this entire stream is me just skipping story and just pressing the same buttons. While talking about like random stuff. Sometimes that's like the best type of stream too. Just having a good time, you know? Yeah, I will say that um, there's like so much good content out there. It's a shame that like there's also a lot of bad content out there. <laughs> Which, you know, I don't mind personally. It's like, I even say, like, when it comes to, like, even, like, anime, I, like, because people, people, call, like, I have friends of mine who always ask, like, why do you watch, like, mid-anime? I'm like, sometimes you have to watch mid-anime to enjoy, like, the good stuff. Dude, I like I I'll, I'll I'll watch I'll watch like the next like average like isekai series just so I like you know I watch something like Tony Kawa and go wow this is amazing <laughs> in comparison to mid for anime is meh like meh series <laughs> yeah I watch I watch pretty I probably I watch meh series I don't mind. Like, um, just so nice, no matter if it's bad or good. Yeah. I, I just, I just say like, it's, it just helps with like my perspective of anime because I've watched so much anime that it's nice to have like the documentation of go. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean. We ain't close to that 1,000 mark. Oh, you're at 1K? Yo, congrats, congrats. Hell yeah. I'm like not there yet. I'm still working my way. <laughs> I think I'm still at like 970 or something like that right now. Which is like by the end of the year I can get to 1,000, it's just I'm not going to push myself to. I like casually watching anime. You know? Like I'll watch some new stuff and then I'll like go and watch like some old stuff and then... Rinse, repeat. But that's it, I think I only dropped like one series, technically. Although I've definitely forgotten to go back and watch series I've started, but like, I've only dropped like one series, honestly. I think the, like in the last like ten years. I don't like that the idea of using AI to dub anime. I don't like the idea of voice acting studios owning the rights to someone's voice. Period. I think that's messed up. Well, I mean, I think I think we all agree it's messed up. It's just kind of just a matter of like. Making sure everyone remembers that it's messed up, including the other people involved, like the like the the like you know the, the dubbing studios and stuff. Pay your voice actors. Period. That's it's just it just it just makes sense. Yeah. 
Bad doing just moving pictures? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And that's just true worldwide, too. I'm going to say, like, I don't think AI voice acting should be used in general. I just really like AP has gone, from, like, has not gone down because I've gained levels. It is sad when voice actors die. That's just, that's just facts, though. So it's like kind of, but that's like kind of like general trend. People eventually will die. It's just, it's just, you know, it's just inevitable. And it sucks when it does happen, regardless of the circumstances. In the end, the reaper will come. Yeah, and that's just true. My goal is to not die anytime soon. I have like semi jokingly, semi seriously told friends of mine, like I'm gonna outlive everybody I know, and they go, "That sounds like a threat." I'm like, "No, it's a promise. <laughs> I shall be immortal." Dude, I've had like too many family members who have pa who have passed away like at earlier ages. I'm like, I refuse to be that family member. I'm like, I'm gonna outlive every single one of my family members. I'm like, I'm like, no one's burying me anytime soon, if at all. That's <sighs> Yay, I got Type Earth to Bond 5. Yeah. It's just like it's just a it's just like kind of like my like my like like worried little pet peeve of mine. It's like it's like uh, like because I had like so many family members that passed away at like a younger age. I'm like I refuse to be a family member that passed away at a young age. And people are like, oh well, you know, like like fifty billion years old. I'm like. What if I lived another 50 billion years and another 50 billion years after that? Yeah, but I disagree with that. It's just like, I feel like with enough willpower, I can outlive most of my, uh, I can outlive like most anybody if I choose to. Immortal career. Dude, I'll be here at like 400 years old. Be like, all right, guys. Pull on the uh, pull on this gotcha banner. See if we get the character, uh, the banner character, <laughs> oldest streamer. <laughs> Yeah, 
Like, I'll be on, like, Twitch 4. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to being Justin TV 3 or something like that. But, like, this guy literally streams and, and literally nothing happens. He just talks about anime. <laughs> At that point, I'll probably, I'll probably speak fluent Japanese, fluent Japanese too. You'll be tuning in. <laughs> I'll be here, be like, still skipping like the story. Be like, I already played it in a fluent every language. I probably won't be. I'm actually very bad with languages. Like, it's an effort for me to learn. Uh, I know this from experience, unfortunately. Uh, when I was in uh, college, I I took a I took a German class, and my uh, professor, my German professor, literally told me anime. You put a hundred and fifty percent effort into learning the language. I don't, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to. And you know what? It hurts, but I couldn't deny that. It was true. I studied, I think, for, I think that's the only class I actually studied for. Like, I, I think I eked out like a, and I'm a straight A student, mind you. I think my, my, my uh, my my first and only semester in German, I might just maybe just barely got like a. Uh, I think I barely got a uh, C. I tried my best. I mean, like, it's just, it just wasn't good enough at the time. Life be like that. My language comprehension be like that. <laughs> you mean? Not good. Yeah, so even like when it comes to learning Japanese, like I've been able to speak conversational Japanese since like high school. I've not been able to read it until I literally played a video game that allowed me to like absorb the information better. So if you've seen the games, like the $5 games on Steam, that's like, lure Japanese to survive or whatever they're called. Like, literally by video gaming, the process of learning, like, I was able to actually finally retain Hiragana for the first time in my life. Like, to the point where I still remember, like, the first 25, 30 characters I learned of Hiragana. Like, playing it over a year ago now. Over, like, two years ago, I think, now, at this point. So, I'm just saying, that was a great way to learn Japanese, and I probably will continue that at some point. <laughs> because I was able to retain it. Before that, I was like, okay, I learned like a few like characters in Hiragana. I went, man, this, this is hard. 
But then after like playing a game version, I'm like, oh, I actually remember this. I didn't know it was going to be that effective personally, but it was. Can't complain. No, I don't. Because that's a lot of katakana. I can't read katakana yet. I just learned a little bit of hiragana. That looks familiar though. Se... Carrie, what's up? <laughs> Don't worry, one day. One day I'll be a comprehensive anime. <laughs> anime. Comprehensive uh, Japanese reader. The good part is I have like Japanese manga that I can like practice with. Granted, I can also just play games in Japanese that have that option, like Pokemon, which are like super like elementary level of reading friendly. So if I like, ever want to get to that, ooh. My Koyan Sky of Dark is also Bond Level 5. Let's go. Yeah, I will eventually get to that point where I can read the language and then just matter like learning more words. The sentence structure is actually not that bad. Thankfully for me. That's like the benefit of like reading. Um, I have 70 sync words, right? That's like 10. That so doesn't teach you, for, uh, teach you formal. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes, you know. ダヴィンチさんの素敵な工房にようこそ。ちょっと、ちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちりもちり